Next up, we have Hussain, who is basically uh, behind the series of Build with Hussain. So Hussain started um, his YouTube channel and started learning from YouTube after his 12th. And he started learning from YouTube and now he's a developer. He, I, I think he doesn't have an official college degree. So he started his YouTube channel and he start, wanted to contribute back to the community to, uh, you know, to complete the circle. So Hussein will talk about how his YouTube channel is empowering um, you know, people to take up open source tools and kind of like making them aware of all the tools out there and kind of like building software with open source. So good morning, everyone. I am Hussain Nagaria, and I work with a company called Frappe. We build 100% open source, world-class software. Come drop by our booth to know more. That's where I will end it. But let's do a quick show of hands before I proceed. So how many of you have ever learned something new from YouTube? Almost everyone, those who didn't raise in hand, maybe you are using a proxy, but fine. So the other question is how many of you have ever thought of starting your own channel or producing educational content for your own, maybe uh, evangelizing your own project or something, right? There are some hands. Cool. Half of my work is done, but let's start. So let me start from the very beginning. I come from a very small town from Bastar, Chhattisgarh. It's a state uh, with capital Raipur, and I've been living there. And everyone in my family is in business, right? Some of the other kind of agricultural business, we have dairy farms, we have uh, poultry. So that's all like my father and my cousin brothers do. And now you might ask how you came here, right? Why not go and just join that business? People often ask me, how did you break that chain? Uh, so this guy is responsible for that, the breaking of the chain. So this was like the, uh, my very first laptop that I got. And ever since I got this, the whole trajectory changed. Basically, I was intrigued by the software gaming at the start, but Later on, one fine day, I stumble upon a free course on C-sharp programming language. I download it because the internet was very slow, so you can't play it live. So I download it, I watch it, and then I wrote my first line of code, which was exactly this, console.writeLine. Uh, if you know C-sharp, you'll understand. This is basically the beginning of any programming language, hello world. And I haven't looked back since then. I dig deeper, and YouTube was the one thing that I use the most to learn whatever I have learned till now. So you could find anything on YouTube. It is so much powerful. You can watch it for free. And like there is lots of lots of content. If you can search it, you will find it. And there was one more thing that was very unnoticed. I didn't know anything about free software or FOSS. So that came later. I'm getting to that. Then came the TFA. So basically, I started working as a teaching assistant on a Udemy course, the Python programming mar uh, master class by Tim Bachalka. And in there, uh, my job was to go in the Q&A section, answer questions and doubts regarding Python. And this was one of my most popular answers. Uh, I still get replies on this. And this gave me immense pleasure, right? To be able to explain a concept to someone in doubt was a lot of fun, coming up with analogies uh, and examples, as you can see. So I enjoyed it very much. But I had to move on, right? So I actually wanted to become a developer, build software. So I left all that. I moved on. I joined Frappe about two and a half years back. And there came the real, uh, realization of FOSS, right? Then I s learned what FOSS is, other than uh, seeing the full form of FOSS in 12th standard textbook. So I got to work on a lot of projects at Frappe, all open source, all awesome. One of which, the major one was Frappe Cloud. 
and we open source it at the last year's India FOSS conference. And it was a very substantial project. Uh, it has many moving pieces, and especially I worked on the FC marketplace part, which involved integrating with GitHub, connecting payment gateways, billing management, and more. And all these sophisticated things ran on a simple framework called Frappe framework. Then I moved on from Frappe Cloud to build a new product named Frappe Changemakers, which was for social workers. So this tool that you see, uh, it completely built on Frappe without a single custom UI page. And this is like live right now in production in Bangalore used to get services to the homeless people. And I was the single developer. I was able to ship it in less than a month. So one thing was very clear after this, that the Frappe framework was very powerful. After chasing so many shiny new technologies, even when I was at Frappe, I finally realized that this was the thing. This was the way to go. And you can build any kind of web applications, right? Between the variety of cloud, managed cloud services to social sector applications that require a lot of admin stuff. So I wanted to tell more people about it, right? I wanted to want more developers to try it. OK, such a tool exists. It is MIT licensed. It is open sourced. Why not more people use it, right? So I started by writing blogs. So I created a app. I wrote the whole process down. I shared it. Yeah. It was fun. A good starting point, people started reacting, uh, noticing the content, uh, learning how to build apps with Frappe framework. But I started to find it difficult working on the project and then writing down the whole process and editing it out was too much effort. And in this process, a lot of things filter out, right? You make assumptions that I made assumptions basically that, OK, this person already, the reader might know this. And I, many times they had gave out abstract ideas. And for the very same reason, the full picture was not clear. I was not able to draw the full picture in articles. At the, around the same time, I got a chance to do a live cohort for Frappe School, Frappe Framework Training. And this was very different than writing the articles. The teaching strikes again, right? What I've left at Udemy course was back again. I shifted from being a developer to a trainer. And this was different for a few reasons. That it was end-to-end, -end, so you get to build stuff to teach them, basically, end-to-end. -end, and then it was interactive. So even if I made some assumptions, OK, I'm assuming you know this, they might ask it out, because they are live, right? They are in the chat. They, are, they can unmute their mic and ask. And it was raw. So if you, even if you make mistakes, right, live, you get to learn those live, and that's also part of the learning process for the audience. So the idea was clear. I wanted to do this, but at scale, not just a Zoom call, maybe a larger audience. So clearly, the platform was YouTube. And the format, live streams. But starting is the hardest, right? I planned that I will start this build in public thing. Uh, Next week, that's fine. Didn't happen. It took me three months in doubt to just get the first episode going. So I had a question, lot of questions, like what if I make a lot of mistakes, right? People will laugh at me, and they will post mean comments. What if I teach something wrong? That's like the horrible mistake that I can do. What if even I am the right person to do this? Or should I ask a senior developer to do it, right? They have more knowledge about the framework. But after three months of doubt, I fixed a date, 26th of April. I will do it. However it goes, let it be. Then I did the first episode of Build with Usain. It was basically not going to be a series. It was just a one-time build in public thing. And it was a Zoom call streamed on YouTube. So that's how it started. How it is going? So recently, I did a series of episodes for building a merchandise store integration for FOSS United, so drop shipping and everything, payment integration. And as you can see, uh, between this and this, 
we have come a long way. So I, along the way, figured out stuff. I learned how software and hardware enhancements can basically improve the quality of the stream. So that was a learning process. Right now, it has like 50 plus videos, and 33 of which are live streams of building in public. And that's not it. Like it recently crossed 3 lakh watch minutes. Just imagine that number, 3 lakh watch minutes. So obvious benefits are there. You build a brand, you get followers. That's fine. But what about the non-obvious benefits that I had not seen, not foreseen that they might come, right? First one was sustainability. As a FOSS project, what do you want? You want sustainability, right? You want to somehow keep building free stuff without asking for a license fee, right? <laughs> so the first thing we do is like, the benefit we saw right out of the box is due to the brand, the people already have seen me teach. They know that I know this stuff. So when we published a paid batch for Frappe Free and Apps, a live training, it got sold out due to just the brand name of Build With Hussain. So that's one benefit. More on sustainability. So the, I was completely by, blindfolded to this one. So basically, I was creating more evangelists, evangelists like me, because one person can't ho run the whole project, uh, FOSS project, right? You want the project to live on. You want more evangelists like you. So this came as a surprise that more people came out to social media. They also started sharing what, have, uh, what they have learned. And even the community, right? These are the screenshots from our Discuss community. So these are like two big contributors who answer questions on our Discuss forum. And they now had the content to share. Double benefit. And this is the mo most important thing for me, impact. Imagine waking up to this email. So this email is from Alberto, who is from Spain. So he writes, I'm recovery. I'm in recovery after a major cardiac surgery, and these days at home, your videos are like painkillers. I just didn't have any words, and I don't have now. Or this one, right? That it cleared away the unnecessary fog away. So that was the whole goal from the very start, right? To make the picture clear. And many more. Uh, testimonial that I got, cleared this that I was, I had done something right, right? Now Build With Hussain is a complete platform. It has its own dedicated website. I have uh, again started publishing blogs as a supplement to the live streams. And there is a beginner section especially. And now it also has a dedicated LMS powered by Frap LMS, where I'm planning to put structured courses, free of course, and teaching open source software. Build with Ozone also runs on FOSS, OBS, VS Code, uh, Frappe LMS, Frappe Framework, so everything is open source. I accept a few things that I will soon replace. Recently, I started using Bruno. Uh, I think uh, the creator of Bruno is here. So it is an API testing tool that I use in, uh, so as much as FOSS as I can use during the live streams, I use. So now the vision, right? Uh, I usually walk with my hands in the pocket, but fine. <laughs> So the vision here is to grow out of Frappe, like basically to grow Build With Hussain out of Frappe to the general FOSS community. To represent the whole FOSS ecosystem of India on Build With Hussain. Because I love this. I love creating and evangelizing this content. So if you see some stats, all green, uh, there has been a steady growth. Uh, the channel is growing slowly. There are nearly 1,300 subscribers. And this is just the beginning. I started like less than six months ago, right? So I'm very happy to announce this initiative. And I would like to call every one of you to join Build With Hussain for FOSS. Every month, we'll have a very special episode where one of you will join me to build in public and to showcase your own FOSS, FOSS project. So if you want to do that, let's do it. Let's collaborate. What else? Yeah. Why, why would you do that? Why would you put that time? You, you can showcase your project. You get to teach the community. You never know who is watching, right? Maybe a six-year-old, six-year-back Hussain is watching on YouTube and learning, right? So you might be even fostering even new FOSS projects. So that's a viral loop. 
Special thanks to my team at Frappe. Of course, some of them are here. Hi. <laughs> so they gave me the opportunity and the freedom, right, to basically pursue this idea and to grow it as a separate channel. Uh, continuous feedback from Rushab Faris helped me improve the quality and think about it. So you can visit billwithhusain.dev to get started or reach me out if you want to collaborate. I will uh, reach out to you, few of you guys over the booth as well. That let's collaborate. Let's build in public. So I will leave you with this thought. Uh, teaching is a very noble profession. So this is from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam that shapes the character, caliber, and future of an individual. If the people remember me as a good teacher, that will be the biggest honor for me. Thank you.